Hi everyone, so this reading is for all Geminis mid-months uh, for June 2017. Uh, I apologize for being a little bit late. Some things came up and I had, uh, I'm at my sister's place right now. <laughs> a little tired actually. Uh, we went to a Tool concert yesterday, so you'll have to mind my voice from uh, singing along. <laughs> Okay, so for this month, we're going to, or mid-months, I'm going to be laying seven cards down and then another seven cards down on top of that. Uh, we'll see what kind of messages we get through. Your monthly still apply. Uh, monthlies can apply for up to, I'd say, about three months, sometimes even longer. Uh, it depends where you are. Uh, readings are based on energy, right? So it depends on if your frequency has changed. You know, if your frequency hasn't um, changed, then you could be stuck. It's almost like a... Uh, like a time loop you get stuck into the same uh cycle right same situation plays over and over again so uh sometimes those energies can run um longer so always keep that in mind when you get uh readings done uh, some some readers can be uh their predictors and uh those readers uh they could pop up it, usually when you, you get a personal reading they they can pop up two to three years later where my mom's had a few readings where it was like five years later and then one reading 10 years later uh they, they were on a tape uh when i was a kid uh, i got to listen to it it was kind of neat but uh, 10 years later everything ended up uh coming true which was uh it's quite it was quite weird to listen to right or, and my mom she was pretty skeptical at first and then like she uh pulled out the tape and then let me listen to it she was like oh let's check it out and see if it it was true it was where so for the, or we'll go here, for the first card we got, it's the Knight of Swords. The next card we have is the Eight of Swords. We have the Four of Cups. Geminis, you guys are all up in your head. We got the Ten of Wands. The Seven of Pentacles. The Wheel of Fortune. It's pretty good, you guys. Excuse the sirens and everything, if you can hear it. I'm in the city, so um, my sister lives in the in the city. And then we have the tower coming in. Ooh, dun dun dun. <laughs> it could be good. The tower is not a bad thing. Everybody thinks it's a bad thing. Sometimes it's really good, where it could be a good surprise. Um, so. Okay, so it seems like in the past, you guys, you guys were moving quite quickly. Uh, and it's not only moving quite qu quickly, um, you are after some sort of truth, it seems like. Uh, but it seems like you're trying to get to the truth for mental clarity. There's some dissatisfaction here. And you're burdened about it. It has to do with work, it seems like. Um, but it's saying not to worry because the fortune, like it, the wheel of, we have the wheel of fortune here. Okay, so like that's that's everything's going to turn around for the positive, you know, like, but the thing is, you guys, like, this is about like, okay, this is, this is what you need to do. Okay, and so you need to look at things from the positive instead of the negative. Okay, so if you lost a job, well, then, you know, start looking at it as you didn't really like that job anyways. So like, you're probably miserable there, you know what I mean? Like, so look at it as a positive now, as in um, you can get a better job, better pay, better hours, you know, like don't settle, you know what I mean? It's like when you, <laughs> when you were dating somebody like in the past and you know, like picture like when you were younger and you were dating somebody, you would never date that kind of person anymore, you know, as a, you, you've matured throughout life, you know what I mean? Like you look back and you're like, what was I thinking? You know what I mean? Like. You, you now know more of what you want, you know what I mean? Like, and that, whatever that situation was that, like, and it seems like it happened quite swiftly here. Uh, it seems like it's, okay, so if this happens, the tower happens, okay? Well, so I'll try to find out more about it. Um, it's going to happen to remo remove you from this situation here because if you look at the four of cups here it's quite dissatisfied you know what i mean so you were quite dissatisfied anyways right 
you guys are quite burdened, okay? But with the Ten of Wands here, uh, okay, we well need to realize that at the Ten, it's like it's a completion, right? So you're at the final phase, even though you're burdened, okay? The burdens are going to be able to be laid down, and you're going to start from a one, which is a new beginning, right? Like if we talk about numerology here, you know, like one plus zero is one, right? So like it's a completion is what you got happening. Okay, and you're going to, I mean, you're not satisfied about it, but you're going to have to really work hard. It's saying, like, you're really going to have to work hard. Okay? But this is also, okay, you guys, Geminis, you can't be allowing um, the opinions of others to be uh, bothering you. You know what I mean? Like, some of you guys, okay, you might want to be moving. There's some sort of truth that you're going to get, it seems like. Let's pull the other cards and see. We have the High Priestess. The Seven of Wands. The Queen of Pentacles. The King of Swords. The Ten of Swords. You guys, you're all up in your head. The Moon. And the King of Cups. Okay, well, for some of you guys that have fathers, okay, your fathers are extremely important. Uh, so that would be Father's Day, I guess, I suppose. A lot of you guys, if you celebrate that. Um, but this is also saying, like, if you're not close with your father, or even if there's a falling out, you know what I mean? Uh, it's still saying to send at least a message to them, you know what I mean? Um, for some of you guys, as fathers, it seems like uh, your ex, your ex has the kids for some reason, I'm seeing. Like, maybe, like, she took them away for her for Father's Day or something, planned planned a trip, which would be kind of mean, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, but, um, you know, like, still, like, maybe call them, or if this is your case, maybe allow, allow, you know, like, uh, the kids to call or leave a message or something like that. Um, for some of you guys, okay, there's some secrets at work. It's not saying, like, Yeah, in the past, okay, there were some things hidden at work that y you didn't know about. Uh, but I'm also getting here, guys, okay, because we got a lot of mental uh, cards here. You got to watch, like, you don't um, start drinking, like, partying too much, too. Drinking is coming up here, or, or substances. Uh, yeah, substances. Okay, so... What I'm getting, though, throughout the cards is um, Pisces. And I do believe, I do believe, um, astrology-wise, that there's quite a bit happening with uh, Pisces. I think, um, at least in the first week of mid-month until next week, I think. Uh, so there's a lot of, like, illusions going to be... So, okay, with the High Priestess here... Is like things aren't going to be what they seem. You know what I mean? People are going to be acting really um, strange and out there because of the energies that are happening. Pisces is a very, um, a very dreamy. Like we have the moon here too. It's a very dreamy, um, very creative, very out there uh, energy, right? Like it's uh, so. Like, when that energy's um, around, and it's similar to if, if you ever notice, like, full moons, people get a little, like, if you're ever at the grocery store and in line, people are quite intense. They're impatient and stuff like that. Um, with the Pisces energy, people are going to be kind of, like, riled up because it is a strong, uh, you might want to look look into that. The Leo King has some good, um, uh, I, I, that's, I just watched the Leo King recently. I haven't been watching him lately. But he did say something about, um, it was the Pisces. And it's going to be intense. And I'll give you an example of that. It's like um, just yesterday, uh, you know, I was like, because these energies are playing out now. 
I was trying to head out to my sister's place and I drive an electric scooter. <laughs> so it won't make it all the way from where I live to my sister's place. So I have to take the bus. And um, I had my mom calling me. My uh, buddy was calling me. His wife was calling me at the same time. My sister was, um, she's a Leo. So she's all like, you should have been here <laughs> by now. You know, like, and my, my dad, I had to go and do something for my dad at his house where uh, with the internet. And it was just like my phone was going to the point where I couldn't even text like it, it, people were getting quite impatient you know so like it, my phone kept freezing I wasn't able to text at all or um it could be like people and it's people are um all riled up from the energy you know what I mean like everybody is a little they're going to be a little confused so like what the cards are saying is don't don't react to what's going on because people aren't really going to be in their proper um they're not really going to be knowing what's going on, right? Some secrets will be revealed, though, if you observe. This is observing. You have to observe. The Queen of Pentacles here, you see this? So you, you have to observe because she's like, she's the Earth Mother. A lot of people say, well, I think more of the Empress is like the uh, Earth Mother because the Empress is like, you know what I mean? She's like. She's built an empire and it's earthly <laughs> and she's got all of the elements in her but like with with this woman uh she observes you know what i mean so, so she can make the corrections afterwards and like the energies are coming through in that first week not to jump to any conclusions because with the tower here things could get out of hand if you do right because it seems like you're dissatisfied and with the knight of swords here uh, this guy is after the truth at no no cost. He's not a king, right? So like he, he'll react quickly. He'll react really fast uh, He's one of the quickest knights in the in the deck, right? One of the quickest movers But it's like with his thoughts his mental capacity, you know, like he might think of something and just spurt it out and say it You know what I mean? Hmm Okay, so you seem, this King of Swords guy, you got a King of Swords guy here? I actually like this guy. A lot of people don't like the King of Swords. In this deck, I get a very different vibe from it. Uh, this guy, uh, this guy is quite, like, a, he's quite spiritual without knowing that uh, he's spiritual. And I don't, like, how can I explain that? I get with him telepath, like he's, he's telepathic, like he gets telepathic messages, like, and he doesn't realize it. So some of the ideas that he gets, it's like, uh, it's energy flowing through and it's telepathically he's receiving messages, but he doesn't like, he's not aware of it. Um, uh, and one case, I think this guy, th this guy who is, uh, aware that he's spiritual is kind of like figuring out, um, he might. He might be figuring out he has that ability. With this guy, I get that song. Um, I think it's this guy who's figuring out that he might have some ability. This guy is a conflict. I'm not sure why. But this guy here, I get that song. Um, it could be a girl too. I get that song. Um, Fat Boy Slim, Weapon of Choice. <laughs> that song is coming. I haven't heard that song in a long time. But that's coming through with, with this guy here. Uh, the High Priestess. So, he, like, he may... Okay. He may be receiving the telepathical messages. Or she. Whoever this person is. Okay? Especially with um, the events that are happening right now. People are getting downloads. Okay? Um... You got to be careful how you handle things in that first week uh, in mid-month, though, it's saying. Okay. You might be pretty dissatisfied with your finances. It's saying not to give up, you guys. This guy could be somebody at work, okay? He's, he seems to be a conflict for you. He's quite burdened, and he may be placing his burdens on you. Um, but this guy's got a lot going on like uh, 
you might come across uh, this gentleman. Okay, so this is um, the King of Swords doesn't have to be an air sign. He could just have the traits of it. So he could have his, like a stellium in his chart, or it could be he could have air somewhere else in his chart, strong air somewhere in there. Uh, but he'll come across quite analytical. He can even be quite logical. Uh, he he is quite uh, funny. I'm getting like he he does have some humor to him. He is well dressed as well. And when he talks, he like, he like can over explain sometimes is what I'm getting or not over explain, but like, it's almost like a Virgo energy getting very logical and like, like very, um, very detailed when he speaks. He is well dressed though. And he, he can be quite funny. He's he could be a problem for you guys, though, Gemini. It's showing. Uh, he's coming up as a conflict. He's quite burdened. Um, so just if you're dealing with this guy, okay, he could be a boss. He could be uh, a husband. Or for some of you guys, this is somebody that's going to become um, a conflict for you. I'm getting that. Okay, so you're gonna have to you're gonna have to be careful. You know, like if you're doing something with him, I don't know what you'd be doing. You, you're, I'm getting like, some of you could be like, it's, there's like, I'm it's like, I'm getting a connection. It could be in business or something. If you're taking him on in business as a new client, a customer or something, just be careful. Uh, do like a trial run with this guy. He's quite, he's quite smart. So you're going to have to make sure, okay, you're going to have to make sure you have all the details. All right. Protect yourself, protect protect what's yours your father has some importance to you guys again i'm gonna um you have the seven of wands here which is like okay you, you guys still have some sort of walls up okay and it's because you're mentally um i was gonna say mentally challenged but you know you i don't mean that i mean like you're mentally overloaded Okay, so if you're mentally overloaded, then you need to go out and you need to do something to relax yourself. With the Queen of Pentacles here, this is like even um, going to the beach and just relaxing at the beach or going um, to the spa or uh, for you guys. I don't know what you guys do to relax, uh, play, play video games, but I don't find that, you know, you need to do something more like where your mind's not operating and outdoors and fresh air getting... Um, Water could be really good for you guys too, okay? Because there's like a drain of energy that you guys have, I'm feeling. Or you are going to be drained by energy. You could be getting psych psychically attacked. Uh, okay, so if, if that's the case, then it's best to get near water. Or, um, you know, if you live near an ocean, do that. If you can go to a pool, go that. Um, do that. Uh, water's really good. And a lot of people don't realize water has uh, electrons in it. And um, you can actually make renewable energy with it. Uh, the energy in it is, is only activated. Uh, if you add salt, it acts as like a conductor. And you can actually get an arc, um, a pretty strong arc out of it too. Uh, some people can build like little uh, lamps out of it just using water and salt, right? Because the electrons in the water um, just aren't activated, right? You need a conductor to activate it, uh, which is the salt. Uh, it's a renewable energy. Hopefully they... People work on it, <laughs> um, but getting near water will help you. And if you are being psychically attacked, well, then that's going to create a barrier. Uh, it's like a cleansing, first of all. So try to take a salt bath if you can. Um, it'll be a cleansing, but it'll create a barrier if you're being psychically attacked. And it's like, and being psychically attacked is energy. It's people feeding off of your energy, right? Energy is abundant. It's everywhere. Um, so if you don't control your mind, then people, uh, you're, you're not, you don't have, 
uh, power over it. You know what I mean? Like, you really got to watch your thoughts because if you want this wheel of fortune to come in, right, and your luck to change, well, then you got to think positive, okay? Because here's the thing, okay, I've said this many times before. You can change your job, you can change your house, you can change the way you look, okay? You can change where you live or how people perceive you, okay? You can change everything you want outwardly. But if you haven't changed inwardly, then everything outwardly is just, it's, it's a waste of time what you did it, because everything's just going to repeat itself. You haven't done the work internally. So you haven't fixed the internal issue. And if you haven't fixed the internal issue, then the same thing's going to just keep replaying over and over and over again. It's like a time loop. You could, it could be replayed for 20 years and it's because nothing inwardly has changed. So your mindset has to change. So if you're thinking negative, then you're going to attract negative. We got to think positive here. Okay. And there's also this, like, you're feeling really guarded, right? You might be in like protection mode for some reason. For some of you Geminis out there, I'm feeling like it's women. Um, it, like you need to apply for like some sort of sales job or something like that. Uh, marketing I'm getting like sales and marketing you guys are like great uh, you know what I picture it's actually funny I was watching um, Xena uh, and it was funny because like the Gemini and Sag and I was thinking I was like well yeah you know Sages are kind of like Xena because they're like physical you know what I mean they're very tomboyish and um, very active but then Gabrielle reminded me of um, of a Gemini because like like if you remember that show Xena Gabrielle talked her way into anything and talked her way out of everything. And the thing with Sag and um, Gemini's is they're quite cunning. They can be quite cunning. Um, when you see a fox, uh, I always think of a Gemini and a Sag because they're quite cunning. They're very, um, they can trick the trickster. You know what I mean? Like a tr uh, somebody who's tricking you, uh, you might need, I'm getting like in this situation, you might need to play the fool to fool the fool. Okay. Step back and observe don't react because if you were like if you react too quickly then like you have the tower here so you have to observe to see what's hidden it's what it's saying okay ensure that you're not reacting too quickly okay and going after the truth the truth isn't going to be seen and if you go after it you're going to get this dissatisfaction and it's going to cause more problems for you Okay, so what's coming in from the outside is the Ten of Swords. Okay, so you guys are going to be mentally overloaded. Okay, so again, get near water, cleanse yourself, you know what I mean? Do what you have to do. I don't know, like, whatever works for you guys, okay? Meditation doesn't work for everybody. Some people paint their nails to meditate, you know? Meditation is just a, um, like, as long as you can stop your mind from thinking, you know? Like, so whatever you need to do... Uh, some people have to switch it up like myself I have to switch it up sometimes I bake uh, you know like if you're <laughs> if you have like built up um, frustration baking can be really good for you if you get into making like pizza dough and stuff like that you can smack it around and you pound it a bit you know what I mean you get some frustration out in that in that manner right like some of you might want to take up boxing I like you got a lot of energy and like I was saying about like Gabrielle <laughs> Gemini reminding me, so for you men, it would be Hercules, and then I don't know what the other guy's name was, but Gabrielle's quite cunning, you know what I mean? She got Xena out of a lot of situations. Um, she she could talk her way into anything and talk her way out of anything, you know, where Xena physically fought her way into th things, you know, and when she tricked people, it was like she could hide and then pop out of nowhere, you know what I mean? It was more physical, but uh, Gabrielle was, like, she could use logic to get people out of a situation, and she was sarcastic, she was funny, you know? Like, um, you guys are going to have to get back in tune with your energies, you know? Maybe watch Xena, I don't know where, uh, I don't know why that's coming up, where, it was a while ago I watched that too, where it just came to my mind. But you guys got to be careful of your mindset, okay? What you think about, you bring about. Okay, so like if you're uh, wearing an elastic on your, your wrist and when you have that negative thought, snap it to interrupt the, um, it'll interrupt the negative thought process. It'll cause you to, um, it's like, it's like a glitch in the program, you know what I mean? Like, uh, it'll, it'll, 
cause your mind to reset or like and pause and rethink, right? You'll you'll focus on that pain and then you'll you can correct your your thinking process. You do have to watch your mindset here. Also, not drinking and not uh, falling into illusions. Okay, be an observer. It's what it's saying for the last two weeks. And then you have this. Uh, I want to pull it on the ten of swords, and it's uh, the knight of wands. So this could be a person coming in, which would be a fire sign. So an Aries, a Sagittarius, or Leo. Not necessarily. They could have it somewhere in their chart, um, strong in their chart. But again, what I'm feeling like is that the cards are basically saying that you need to be optimistic. Okay, you need to go be a go-getter, not in the <coughs> mental capacity. Okay, you need to be doing it from the physical capacity. Okay. And this is talking about um, with if you handle things correctly, there is a great emotional um, satisfaction here. Uh, this could even be a gentleman that some of you guys can meet out of the blue. It could be a water sign or he has water somewhere in his chart. Um, But this guy could even bring something shocking to you. Yeah, you got the page of cups here. Some of you with a child, you, um, this could be the father of your child. But some of you could get pregnant. Okay, so be very careful of that. That could be quite shocking. That could be what's hidden too. <laughs> so be careful of that, you guys, okay? As far as work, though, this could be that you could get a new offer, too. I'm getting that. I've been getting that for a while for you guys, that you need to go out there and you need to start applying for things. You guys are, are quite good with uh, verbally, your verbal skills, you know. You can outwit a lot of people, you know. Like, uh, a Sag will pick up on it, and they will, probably won't say anything, but they'll laugh, you know. They think it's just as funny. Where And when I when I say that Sag is in... Geminis are cunning, okay? There's two ways you can take that. Like, don't, I don't want you to take that wrong, okay? Like, uh, there is a negative aspect of that. And if a Gemini or a Sag is operating from their negative side, then yeah, that's going to come out as a negative um, uh, quality. But it, it can be a very good quality. It can get people out of a lot of trouble, you know what I mean? Like, but it's also, you got to be very smart at the way you guys handle things, okay? Because there's things hidden here, all right? Like, so you might have to be cunning, and I don't mean in a negative way, okay? Because this guy could be an issue for you, all right? So I'm seeing, like, you need to be careful with this King of Swords guy, whoever he is. Uh, I do feel like he will be older than you. It could be a boss at work, and he's watching you. He's quite burdened. He could react, uh, like, in a, in a negative manner, say some negative things. All right, you guys, that's all I'm getting for the mid-months, and I will talk to you uh, next one. Ciao for now.